<laughs> hey yo, where my 80s and 90s babies at? Man, I know y'all know what's coming, right? I know y'all know what's coming. <laughs> Ooh boy. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. I'm ready to take my throne back Y'all gon' get your dome crack Psycho bring that flow crack Everybody knows that This is for the people to show me that they believe in me Deep in the scene I'm the bigger than he the beastly beat Child of the 80s Banking on longevity Settle beef with anyone who's stepping up to test with me Chop a track and copping that I can't hear the copycat 20 years, 10 deals Haters must acknowledge that Hey guys, Cody here with another review, and today I'm going to be looking at the Batman the Animated Series DC Collectibles Batmobile, and this thing is amazing, guys. I cannot wait to show you everything in detail. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to look at the box real quick, it says Batman the Animated Series at the bottom, DC Collectibles, all the you know, warning hazards and stuff. Nice line work of the Batmobile, really cool. Just in case you didn't know, it says the Batmobile right there. Turn it to the front, you get the forward line work right there. Really cool, it tells you who uh, sculpted this thing. So yeah, really cool. The side, or well, the other the back of it. You guys can see a nice image of the silhouette of Batman. And you got an image of the Batmobile itself as well as the light up features. And then all these, you know, warnings and stuff like that. So, and then, the nice image of Batman himself right there classic logo this is Batman anime series there and then you get the you know the standard logo right there at the top so really really cool so let's um take it out of the box and actually take a look at it all right guys here it is the Batman the animated series Batmobile from DC collectibles this thing is a beast it is just an amazing shelf piece a collectible for everyone who loves batman especially if you love the animated series it blew me away as a matter of fact the only reference to these particular this particular batmobile i had was um some review videos um so i really didn't get the sheer size of it i knew it was like a 24 uh, 26 inch vehicle but it's hard to take a look and kind of visualize something out when you take a ruler <laughs> And um, I was just like, well, damn, it don't look that big, or it seemed that big, especially when you take the ruler and actually stop it at 26 inches. Like, uh, eh, no. <laughs> so, but it is, in fact, 26 inches. And I guess it's just visually, when you see it in person, it's actually one of those things that you have to see to believe. And this is, this is the Batmobile I wanted as a kid. The animated series Batmobile, I never had it. When Kenner put it out, of course I wanted it, but the thing is is that it was literally one of those top um, ones where you just flipped it, the, the hood over. It was a one-seater. It was blue-tinted. Uh, it had that Bat logo that was on there. Everybody, every time you had those Bat symbols and stuff on, on those Batmobiles. Um, this is probably the most accurate, most like TV show accurate representation of this Batmobile. It is brought to life. Here it is right in front of you. And all the features that it comes with, the, the lights and all these other functions, it's a two-seater. I feel like it makes up for the price point. Uh, originally it retail was 100 I believe, 99 something I believe. And now I, I saw it for $85. I grabbed it. It was brand new. And I think it was worth it, at least at the $85 price point. If anybody has any doubts, you just buy it, see for yourself, and don't judge based on review because seeing it in person is where it got me. So, but uh, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. The front looks really cool. You guys can kind of see uh, the inside of the Batmobile through those uh, those little ridges right there. But yeah, the front end right there, it's really cool. There's the headlights, so that's really nice. I know a lot of people have kind of pointed out there's this like this brushing effect going on here. I don't. It's not like painted or anything. I think it's just it's molded into the plastic. But you got all these nice little sculpting details right here. It's really cool the canopy right here we have this little track right here that allows it to slide forward there's the, the back end really cool tell how many people actually touch it once the light hits the, the windshield because uh there's fingerprints all over it here's the side here you guys can see the the wheels and stuff the wheels are rubber that's really cool these some big wheels too um you even got that little uh dip into the side because i, I believe this is a step 
or some kind of like uh, s some way for them to jump into the Batmobile. But if I remember correctly, every time I saw Batman get in the Batmobile, he actually jumped in there. <laughs> so I don't know if that's an actual step or if that's just a design for the actual Batmobile or some kind of exhaust or something. But I I, I don't know. But yeah, really cool these wheels and they even kind of put that um the sculpting detail for this uh uh little grab on thing because if you guys don't remember uh, in the in the show he used to shoot grappling hooks and these were like tire shredders right here and in a toy this actually popped out from the center in the original toy so that's that's pretty cool that they actually sculpted that in there but uh yeah i know a lot of people might say why didn't he just do that effect with the this one too uh, also i also want to mention this thing is pretty heavy it, it has a lot of weight to it so the real showstopper has to be the back end right here. All this going on right here, all this detail, this whole back end right here, the turbine and uh, the flamethrower, the lights. Right here, it's just really cool. I love this. So, really cool. And then, of course, one of the main things about this is the, the light up function. So on the bottom here, you guys cannot see the detail. This is actually very show accurate. If you guys ever looked at the design of the Batmobile and saw some of the scenes where the car would flip over or get damaged, this particular, um, I guess, sur or bottom out surface, I guess, was uh, very show accurate. So if you guys actually go back and watch the show, this, this is correct. This whole gray plastic thing with the lining going on here. Uh, you guys can see the, um, the battery compartment and the switch right here. Let's turn this back over, and yeah, this is crazy amazing right here, the headlights. I'm going to turn the lights off in a little bit and show you everything after I'm done showing all the interior and stuff, and I'll show everybody uh, the lights um, and stuff in the dark, so, but yeah, this is just really cool. I'm like speechless right now. I'm just describing everything I'm seeing at the moment, not really doing a review, uh, but as per usual with some of the Batmobiles, the canopy will uh, fly forward. If you guys cannot see inside here, they have the uh, the blue lights going on and all that stuff. You guys can see the wheel right there. All this detail going on. I'm trying to get it to where everybody can see it. But yeah, all the paint and the you know the sculpting for the buttons and stuff, the screens. Uh, I do want to mention the interior before you actually turn the light on. Um, they just use this um, translucent green plastic in here, but for some reason it lights up blue. Uh, also that the steering wheel actually is, um, you, can, you can bring it back. So I've seen a lot of people complain about how they can't get their Batman to you know, hold the steering wheel. That Well, there's a reason why <laughs> you gotta bring the, you know, the steering wheel back towards him. So uh, another thing that's really cool is the seat belts, they're functional. So these are elastic seat belts, real functioning seat belts. You just uh, clip it in like uh, like so. And I gotta admit, my hand is really big, but yeah, there they go into the seat belt clip. There, you guys can see the uh, gear shift, and yeah, it's a two-seater. It's really really cool that they actually have that. I just have to get the Batman and Robin figures right here. Once I get those, I will actually show them what they look like in the actual Batmobile, but I just wanted to show this to you guys. It's crazy. Let me uh, turn on the Batmobile again. So you guys can see all the blue lights and stuff just hitting the back there. Really cool. Really, really love this. So, love it. And then the back. This is where Jerry, because he got this like, yeah, look at the blue light. That's crazy. The whole back end of this though, just lights up like crazy it um it does this is like the best part of the vehicle so but yeah that's that's crazy right there i really love it so i'm actually gonna go ahead and turn the lights off and show you everything in the dark now so stay tuned all right guys we're sort of in <laughs> in semi-dark it's still daylight outside but uh, here's the headlights guys we'll just show you everything and, and, and like a certain point of view as if you're looking right at it. But yeah, the headlights are pretty bright. They're shining yellow on my hand. And then close the canopy real quick. You guys can see the, the blue light inside there, which is really, really cool. Turn this around. 
Here's all the detail inside there. Yeah, that, that's just cool. Really love that. And here we go, this is where <laughs> me and Jerry flipped out. We were just like, holy hell. That's that's just amazing right there. Tell me, tell me that is not amazing. You gotta love it. That's just beautiful. And um, just certain angles looking at it. And, you know, if you put it up against the wall or something and keep this lit up, which by the way, these take three AA batteries. So it's not like it's gonna be expensive or anything. But just put it up against the box. You guys can see how the red light's hitting the box right there. There's a lot of light coming off of that. So this is a really cool piece, guys. I highly recommend if you're a big Batman animated series fan, you you guys have to have this in your collection. So, uh, but anyway, guys, that is my review of the Batman the animated series Hot Wheels or not Hot Wheels <laughs> DC Collectibles Batman the animated series Batmobile. I hope you guys enjoyed. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later.